Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. As you know that these earthquakes down there in the southern portion of the Salton Sea are continuing. There is a lot of geothermal power plants that are inducing these earthquakes and it's probably pretty silly seeing how it's so close to the San Andreas Fault Zone that runs um, to the east of the Salton Sea. I'm going to show you these two clusters of earthquakes in a minute. But first, I want to show you some environmental things that are going on there. Yeah, it looks like uh, the Salton Sea is drying up a little bit. The Salton Sea was formed when the Colorado River uh, overflowed its banks. This here is an image of the southern end of the Salton Sea using Google Earth, and this image is from 2015. This here is an image from Zoom Earth, dated October 2017, and then I'll go to 2019. Look at the difference. We have new land over here, a new land up over here. I'll go back to 2017, and then I'll go back to Google Earth. I'll bring it out a little bit, and I'll bring this out a little bit. So you can see this little inlet right there. Okay, and now we'll go to 2019. 2017, 2019. Look at all the sediment running into the uh, uh, Salton Sea there. And this is Google Earth from 2015. Notice this point right here. Look how it's grown in 2019. And there it is, 2017. And I'll bring it into this landmass right there. And we got a new landmass there. Go back to 2017. Look how it's all filling in. Closer image, 2015 using Google Earth. And then 2017 using Earth Zoom. And then February of 2019. Here's the location of two of the earthquake swarms that have been recorded in the last week. Yeah, we got geothermal power plants down here and also over there and then up here. This one earthquake they recently had, a 2.0. It actually, they had a moment tensor ball that showed the fault had moved north. I'll show you that. There you go. The initial first wave of the earthquake came from, oh, the southeast tension was applied um, yeah smack dab in the middle you can see here how the fault line that's a drastic move with the fault line moving north the hot magma is what's heating up the water that they're extracting yeah and yeah that's volcanic and then there was another earthquake a 2.8 that moved the fault line northeast let me show you that one one person said they did feel that earthquake. I am sure there was a lot of the workers that felt the earthquake, but because of uh, job security, they probably didn't report it. Here's the focal mechanism ball. Here's the fault line. Yep, it moved a little bit less than the other one, uh, but it did move northeast. There was also a 1.1 near this geothermal power plant. This red line that I have drawn here is a fault line that they recently discovered that runs uh, on the southern side of the Salton Sea. And this is the area where they've been having a lot of earthquakes. Remember uh, when they had that 4.6 back on August 10th. And let's zoom in here. And then we got a 4.0, um, also on August 10th, and another 4.0 on August 10th. And these are all the recent earthquakes that have been along this fault line. Now, as this uh, lake dries up down here, um, it's going to lessen the weight of the water pressing down on these fault lines, which could trigger the fault line. Then you got the geothermal power plants lubricating those fault lines 
Um, how many of you remember back in uh, 2018, uh, Mud Spring Volcano or Mud Springs, how it moved across the railroad tracks and the highway? They actually had to move the railroad tracks and the highway. That Mud Spring, after sitting in the same spot for decades, all of a sudden in 2015 started to move. And this image is from 2015. Um, it moved as of 2018, 240 feet from where it was documented to be uh, a decade before that. Using Zoom Earth, here's an image of that location. And you can see uh, they're working on the highway and the railroad tracks. This is 2017. And this is an image now from February of 2019. Let me go back to 2017. Here's the spring. And we got a slight indentation there, which has grown. Look at that. Uh, looks like they're trying to fill it in. And they have moved the tracks. I don't know what they're doing. Um, they moved. Yeah, they did move the tracks. They're over here now. They were previously on the, the right. We got a sinkhole there. Now we'll go back to 2017. So you can see where the tracks were originally. Yeah, it's completely gone. The smell of uh, carbon dioxide, sulfur, uh, was coming up from this area. It was reported back in 2018. The geologists believe that these mud springs are an extension. Uh, they're following along the fault line of the San Andreas Fault. Going back to Google Earth, and I'll bring this out, and I'll show you where this is located. So this would be part of the San Andreas Fault, and there's a lot of mud springs in this area. The chances of any of these events triggering a major earthquake yeah, I would say that is a very strong possibility. And evidently, there's a lot more mud springs in this area. I didn't uh, take the time to look them up using Google Earth or Zoom Earth. But finding them would be an indication where that fault line lies. What are your thoughts? Thank you for watching. I am on Patreon, and I'm also on Twitter. You can support my work on Patreon and follow the other things that I find and post on Twitter. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.